Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing Jeopardy in the three-minute pool on ICC. Let's open with d4 against Jeopardy. He's from the Netherlands. And let's play queen c2 on move four, this like anti-Slav type of line. Theo Homelis. Homelis? That's his name. Uh, b5, okay, so I'm not sure if I should put the queen on c2 or b3. Unsure at this juncture. Let's put it on c2. Looks normal on c2. Okay, let's play bishop g5 and then probably knight bd2. I might even swing the knight up to f to uh, b3 in order to control the c5 square because long term black would love to get c5 in. Even short term black would love to get c5 in. <laughs> so maybe knight b3 right now. It's probably not premature to do so. Huh. Let's play e3 first. I don't think he can play c5 yet, at least. Hmm. What's stopping me from going b4? Anything? Let's do it. If a5, I can play a3. So I just want to clamp the c5 square. That's the entire point of this idea. Okay, so a3. If a5, again, maybe just rook b1 to defend. He can't play knight d5 to increase the pressure, so he probably wants to play um, h6 or, yeah, maybe a move like this. Hmm. So he's saying that knight d5 could be coming next move, I think is what he's claiming right now. So how do I deal with that? Just taking doesn't do anything. Um, I could play rook b1, knight d5, queen b1. Seems awkward, but maybe it's best. Let's do that. So there'll be an all-out battle for um, the defense of b4. If he can get at b4 again, I might be in trouble. But now, for instance, I can play e4 and keep him away. Maybe I could have played e4 even still just a moment ago. Let's do this. Yeah, I could have played e4 even before the rook b3 move, couldn't I? I wonder if he'll take on b4. Because if not, I get to complete my development, and uh, this is looking peachy. Well, I guess he's going to play it like this. But let's just castle. Hmm. Maybe rook c1. Let's go rook b2, just to make sure he can't play queen a2. Maybe I make way for knight b3 later, too. Play h3, just solve any back rank issues. Go back to e3. Also nice that he can't play knight g4 now. Okay. Maybe knight d3. Looks good to try to bring the knight to c2, or, or uh, knight e1, I mean. Trying to bring the knight to c2 or d3. I always do that, like I'll say the square that I'm intending to bring the knight to. Really, that move? I don't think that's good. Because e4 is covered twice. Oh, but he's hitting the rook. Ah. Okay, that's my mistake. But I just have c6 here, right? Don't I? Yeah. He can play knight c3. Can do that. Knight c3. Okay, I gotta take... Hmm, take on b5. Yeah, well, okay, rook a1 is coming. Let's play rook b3 first. Just back him off. The time is going to be a problem. But the position is good. Bishop takes b5 or rook takes b5 next move. Let's do bishop takes b5. Let's see if he'll swap on a1. He does not. Okay, now we go to work with the two knights. That's our goal. Can't decide if I want the queens on or off the board. Or the um, pair of rooks on or off the board, I mean. Oh no, oh, I just mouse slipped like crazy. Meant to go to b7, whoops. Okay, <laughs> that was embarrassing. At least I didn't drop a rook based on like a tactic this time. I just completely slipped rook b8. Ooh, that hurts, because yeah, rook b7 was coming. Mm. All right, well, let's take a look at it. Otherwise, I think I had a good handle on the position. Queen c2, he took on c4. So previously, I faced like bishop f5 and bishop g4. But b5, it's possible. I mean, whether black will have a good position or not revolves around his ability to get c5 in. If he can get c5 in, then that's fine. 
Um, then he can liberate the bishop that he'll inevitably have on the diagonal. But if he can't, he's probably going to be worse and suffering. So knight bd2, he played rook c8, e3. So first question is, can he play c5 right here? If he does it here, I mean, it looks dangerous. Take, he takes d4. It's a discovered attack on my queen. But I just play something, yeah, maybe queen b3, kind of menacing knight e5 with this pin knight. Let's say take, f takes the engine wants to play. Looks like a problem because if e6, knight e5, I just have threats like bishop takes f6 and take on d7, or just bishop takes d7 directly. Yeah, that's not good for him. So instead he played a6, I went b4. A4 would be another way to try to attack b5 and put pressure there. So b4, um, he played e6, I went a3. A5, rook b1, take, take, queen b6. Yeah, so here I probably should have played e4 directly to keep his knight out of d5. That move like didn't occur to me until after his knight was already in d5. So I played rook b3, knight d5, queen back to b1. And again, if he doesn't organize something quick, I think he's just going to be worse. Let's follow what the engine wants to do. h6, bishop h4, rook a8. Hmm. So if e4, knight f4. Let's say bishop g3, yeah, attack the knight. Knight h5, I'd probably just develop. Take, h takes. The computer seems to think that this is like much better for black. But why? I mean, his bishop is still locked in. Unless he can really set b4 in his sights. I don't know if I quite believe this eval. Castle, rook a4. Let's make some normal looking moves for white. Bishop e7. I mean, maybe the the value of the dark square bishop is fairly high here. Maybe I can't attack c6 so easily with d4 being weak. But still, just strategically, his bishop is a bad piece. It remains a bad piece. So queen a7, I played e4. Knight back to f6. I could play bishop d3 as well. I just thought e2 might be a slightly nicer square. So castle, brought the rook over. Is e5 good? e5, he has to play knight d5. We swap, I assume knight e4 next move. Kind of eyeing these squares, especially d6. That would be a nice square to get into. Maybe even a kingside attack, like put a knight on g5, start headhunting his king. The rook could prove useful, like swinging over. So rook c1, rook a8, rook b2. Yeah, I probably played this a little tentatively. I was trying to stay... Um, all right on the clock. I didn't want to get too far behind him. Rook b2, I was just trying to prevent queen to a2. h3 was just a safe move to make. And he kind of went crazy with uh, c5. And I took, and his idea was this, but based on um, how disorganized his position is, it just doesn't seem to work. The engine says I should play knight c2 right here. And then after the queen is backed off, because I'm hitting the queen, then take. So what difference does that make? If take, knight b4, really likes this, again, with c6 in mind. So I can even like decline to win a pawn right away. And the position is still tremendous for white because of uh, the weakness of b5 and um, the potential I have with my own c pawn. Yeah, that makes sense. But I took here, he took here, c6, take, take, knight c3. So he gets... Um, a rook against my two minor pieces, but with b5 falling, yeah, this is a really nice endgame for white. And I was looking forward to trying to winning to win it. Um, the time was a problem, though. I mean, given the time differential, the position is honestly probably like equal, <laughs> or maybe even advantageous to black with like the 45 extra seconds they have. The battle is confined to one area of the board, so. That's better for black than if there were like, let's say there were like two A pawns remaining or something. That would be worse for him because I would keep options on that wing as well. But when you're defending, it's nice when you can localize the struggle to one area of the board. And knight e4, and unfortunately I just slipped rook b8. I'm not going to ask for a take back. I don't really do that. So um, yeah, so hate to have it end that way. But um, hopefully this showed like kind of some key aspects of this type of plant position. So when black is really trying to get in c5, if you have an opportunity to play b4 and just make it difficult, if not impossible, for them to play c5, you're setting yourself up for a strategic advantage. Um, I mean, 
it's fair to say that if white can stick around with this pawn on b4 and black can never really break with their a or c pawns effectively, especially the c pawn, then for sure white is uh, coming out on top most of the time. All right, well, I hope you enjoyed this game. I'll be back tomorrow with another Blitz game. Talk to you guys later. Bye.